Thanks for tuning in to Backyard Broadheads. I'm going to go over my top products today that I use for hunting. Subscribe for more hunting and crossbow content and feel free to leave me a comment about a topic that you'd like me to cover in the future. Most of these products are in the description below if you want to check them out and purchase them. All right, this is, these are a pair of cargo pants. These are made by True Timber. You don't need True Timber cargo pants. These ones were great. The only reason they're a little messed up is because some of the crazy stuff I walked through one day. But cargo pants for hunting are fantastic. You're always gonna have something. Maybe you have a little squeaky call that you're gonna use for your coyotes, your range finder, your pull string for your crossbow. It's fantastic to have these extra pockets. So highly recommend a good pair of cargo pants. Buy them a little bit big so that you can still use them in the winter with something underneath them. All right, up next is a Moultrie trail camera. This is the A7i. It's a few years old, but it's awesome. It has a very sensitive sensor on it. Um, it's got a quick sensor on it. The lights are, I'm not sure if they're invisible, but they're very hard to see if they're not the actual black lights. But I would definitely recommend any Moultrie trail camera. And inside of here, what I have are Energizer lithium batteries. Do they cost more? Yeah, they do cost more. Do they work better? They do work better. They last longer and they also perform better in cold weather. So I would highly recommend the lithium batteries and any Moultrie trail camera. So next, I have another Nikon product. These are my binoculars. Another probably a good item for buy once, cry once. These are 10 by 42 binoculars, which means they are 10 power. They have like a rubberized outer coating on them. Um, if your eyes don't focus on things exactly the same, they're adjustable so you get your left eye and your right eye both in focus. Um, these are also waterproof. These are Pro Staff 5s great for you know looking trying to find animals but what I use them for my purpose why I bought them is when I see a deer that's far away I need to know if it's legal or not so I had to get some quality binoculars all right this was actually a gift so I'm a big fan of using small sharp knives for field dressing your deer or any animal, deer, turkey, whatever. Small sharp knives work really well. This is a Mossberg knife and it has a gut hook on it. Now, a lot of knives out there have gut hooks on them and some of them are terrible. Some of them work pretty good. This one works pretty good. So you can see Mossberg written on there. It came very sharp from the factory. I'm not sure if I've sharpened this one yet or not, but I've used it on multiple deer. And this gut hook is simple and it works. It, it just works pretty well. I mean, you won't always get a perfect cut from like say their neck to their belly, but a couple tries and it, 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 really, it really helps a lot. It works pretty good. So that is by Mossberg. All right, so up next we have my hunter safety system, safety harness for any time I'm hunting out of a tree stand. Have I ever hunted without a safety harness? Yes, but from now on, I just always wear it. Uh, this is the Bow Hunter. Um, all the tree stands that you buy that I've ever bought, they come with a tree stand harness and that's better than nothing. But this is a lot nicer. It's a lot easier to put on. It's adjustable. You can wear it in the spring when you hardly have any outer garments on or when you're all bundled up in the winter time, you can wear this also. And it works really good with this jacket that I'm gonna tell you about at the end of the video. So up next, I have a rifle shooting item. This is the Caldwell Lead Sled 3. Um, personally, I don't use it with any weight. I bought it more to steady the gun than I really did to reduce recoil. Um, it's not going to eliminate every teeny tiny little bit of motion, but it will steady your gun a lot and for what most people are doing, shooting plates, shooting deer, 
it's more than enough. I, I still highly recommend this product. What it will do is point out other problems you might have. Like if your bench is not rock solid, like say if it's not made out of steel with the front legs going down at an angle, or it's not made in concrete or very well braced wood, you'll start to notice it because you'll solid things up with this and then you'll see that your maybe your bench isn't 100% solid. But I would highly recommend it. Um, it's got micro adjustment back here. It's got the larger adjustment up front. The gun fits in here nice and solid. It rests in here. Um, it's all well protected, either rubberized or foam. It's not gonna scratch up your gun at all. So if you're thinking about getting one, this is the Lead Sled 3. I would recommend it. All right, so our next product is actually three in one. We'll start up front with the broadhead. This is a Rage broadhead, and I go out of my way to find the Rage broadheads that have the O-ring and not the shock collar, because the shock collars are kind of a pain. But this one, if your blade does come out, you pretty much just have to push it back in. With the shock collars, you might have to change the shock collar, you might have to rotate the shock collar. Um, but no matter what, Rage makes a good product. They fly true, they actually fly like the field tips. It's the only broadhead I've ever found that actually flies like a field tip, even though they all say that they fly like a field tip. Um, uh, the Arrow is an Easton XX75 Magnum 2219. This one's 20 inches. I believe it has a four inch blade on it. And these are very accurate, especially if you're shooting fixed blade broadheads. Um, they have a symmetrical spine, so when you turn them and flex them, they flex the same amount all the way around. Um, on the back, I have an illuminated knock, illuminated knock made by 10 point. So you push that in, the light comes on. Turn it off, pull this out, pull out your little light pop out the tip, and then you just slide it all back together. So that is the illuminated knock made by 10 point. This insert is the proper size insert for this bolt. They give you three different size inserts for the most popular bolts. This, the biggest advantage of this lighted knock is you're gonna see every time where you hit your animal at shooting at a deer you're gonna see where it impacts if you're looking you're gonna see it if you're not looking hopefully you're filming it and you're gonna see where it impacts second great thing is you're gonna find your arrow quick I've spent days searching for arrows you're gonna find it quick with this um, so highly recommended product All right our next product is a Barnett crossbow it's the Raptor FX2 the Raptor FX, I believe, is just a different camo pattern, and the Raptor is, once again, another camo pattern. All the same dimensions, the same speed, so you're just a different name and different camo pattern. This is the Barnett Raptor FX2. So, I've personally only ever had Barnett crossbows. I think they're good. They're very accurate. Pretty much just comes down to the arrows or bolts that you're shooting out of them. This one has a brush inside of it unlike the recruit the original recruit had um, a plastic bar to hold down the bolt and i think that was really its only downfall but they took care of that because it has a, these have a brush now this shoots 330 feet per second any deer 20 or 30 yards that's walking very slow or standing still it's not going to duck the string with this 40 yards I'm not good enough to know where to aim at a deer that's 40 yards away, but if you know how to do it, it's going to take care of that. 99% of the time with this, you're going to get a pass-through shot. It's pretty much just going to come down to where you hit the deer, but you'll get a pass-through with fixed blades or mechanical blade broadheads. Next, I have a Tacticam camera on here. So I do have a groundhog video that you can check out on my channel that I did film with the Tacticam camera. It's pretty cool. What I really like about it is it has a five power optical lens. This is a Tacticam 3, I believe, but it has a five power optical lens. 
So you get to see your animal better. The GoPros, they have the fisheye lens. There's certainly a place for a GoPro. Those are really good products, but this has the optical zoom. It's gonna bring everything a little bit closer. That's why I like it. Um, I also have a rubberized sling on here. What that does is it, it keeps your crossbow from just sliding down like that. So I would also recommend a rubberized sling for your crossbow. Next product is my Field & Stream Scent Lock Jacket. It's well built, it's got a lot of pockets on it, but my favorite feature about it is in the back. It has a little flap back here and a little hole. Flap keeps the rain out, but that hole is to put your safety harness through for your tree stand. So you can wear your jacket and it's not going to tug on your collar. You just feed it through that hole and it's not gonna you know, pull on your collar as you're moving around. So anything that encourages you to wear your safety harness is a good idea. So it's the Field & Stream Scent Lock Camouflage Jacket. All right, thanks for tuning in to Backyard Broadheads. Most of these products are in the description below if you wanna check them out or purchase them. Please subscribe for more hunting and crossbow content.